I'm gonna be sharing with you how to align with what I call effortless manifestation to actually manifest what you want into your life in a much easier way, remove all the internal resistances that come up in the manifestation process so you can actually use the law of attraction to manifest what you want in a much faster way. So if you're new to this channel, what I want you to do is to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell because I do post a new video every single day. Also, if you want to work with me one on one to let go of your ego, let go of the anxieties, reprogram your subconscious mind for success and align with your life purpose. Hit the link that's in the description box of this video to apply for a free consultation to see if you're a good fit for the coaching program. So you got to realize that so many people have the wrong idea when it comes to how to manifest properly. Now there's no wrong way to manifest, but the key is to make it as effortless as it can be because manifestation can be so much easier, so much more simple than people really make it out to be. They make manifestation this whole struggle this whole work hard mentality. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with action. I take massive action, but does it have to be a struggle is the question. Does manifestation have to be a struggle? Because <laughs> a lot of people make this, this whole manifestation like this entire struggle and this whole resistance like when's the manifestation gonna come? That doesn't work. That's actually what stops the manifestation from coming. Manifestation is not only supposed to be easy, but here's what I found in my experience, is that the easier I make manifestation, the easier then I attract those things that I'm trying to manifest. It's almost like the more that I internally struggle with life, not only do I feel more resistance in my body, but then it's also harder to manifest that thing that I want. When I try to figure everything out logically with my ego and I'm resisting and I'm attached to the mind, I'm attached to all the thinking, it becomes so much harder to manifest. And the first thing I wanna share with you when it comes to how to align with effortless manifestation using the law of attraction is what I call high vibration intuitive action. Okay, high vibration, intuitive action. Because what happens is that to manifest effortlessly, the first thing you gotta do, of course, is raise your vibration. Everyone knows that. You've heard me talk about that. We all know that it's easier to manifest from a high vibration. Now, here's what you can do as well is take intuitive and guided action that comes as a result of that high vibration energy that you're in. You have to feel your intuition. It's a feeling. You'll feel called to take action on certain things. For me, it was just, I was automatically called to record videos. I was automatically called to, you know, coach people one-on-one -on -one because there's something in me that intuitively was called to take action on these things. I was intuitively called to drop out of school from that high vibration, to stop talking to certain people that were not necessarily serving me, let's just put it like that. You gotta realize that when you start to raise your vibration, that's, the, that's a beautiful first step. But to take it to the next level, what you can do is actually take intuitive actions from that high vibration space. Because <laughs> what that can do is actually allow you to be in alignment, not only with your high vibration energy, but then also the universe will support you. See those nudges that you get? It's almost like the universe is saying like, hey, go take action on that thing. That's gonna lead to a synchronicity one way or another. It's like, it's like the universe is saying like, hey, we're gonna align you with that thing that you wanted. Just go take, it's like you're, you're, but then people ignore that urge. Take action on those urges from that high vibration state. That's you feeling what you wanna manifest and you're feeling into the manifestation and the universe is synchronistically guiding you with that manifestation. Okay, that's the key to this whole process. The key to this whole process is to be aligned internally and then take action from that space. That is huge. When I started to do this, it's not that I wasn't taking massive action, right? I take massive action every single day. I've been recording a video every single day for the last six months, maybe even more, I don't count the days. 
But you've got to realize that I was called to take these intuitive actions from a high vibration state. I started to meditate daily. I started to do this. And then from those things that I did that raised my vibration, that was beautiful. But then that actually led to actually <laughs> me taking intuitive action. Okay. High vibration, intuitive action. Huge for effortless manifestation. So can you still take action? Yes. Are challenges still going to arise in your life? Yes. But does it have to be an internal struggle? Not necessarily. That's up to you. And if you release the internal resistance, resistance is there to show you what you need to release. That's resistance is a cue saying, hey, release the resistance. <laughs> That's what it's trying to tell you. Release the resistance. That's what it's saying. Resistance comes up at the universe saying, hey, release that. Get back up here and get back up to the high vibration and then take intuitive action. Okay, the second thing I want to share with you is that manifestation doesn't need to be a struggle. That's what the manifestation journey is about, is being in alignment with high vibration actions just because you're having fun in the moment. And then while you're doing that, that leads to the manifestation always. You see, when you're struggling, when life is a struggle, like anytime I notice life is a struggle, I take a step back and I meditate. Always. I meditate, you know, two, three times a day at this point. Like I do my morning meditation, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, no matter what. Sometimes if I notice that if life is a little bit of a struggle, I'll add like little 10 minute mini meditations to make, to make it easy. And then I go back to working in my life, you know, recording videos, doing this, and it becomes easy again. I'm realizing that to create my dream life, it's not about struggling to get there. The more that I struggle to get to my dream life, the harder it's going to be. Now, does this mean that you're not going to take actions and there's not going to be challenges. No, it means that you can be in a high vibration state, a non-judgmental state where you're connected to the moment and it becomes easier to face those challenges. It becomes easier to take action. I still take massive action. This is what I want to stress. Manifestation, part of it is taking action, but it doesn't have to be difficult like people make it out to be action can be easy. And let me ask you this. If you believe action's hard, where did you learn that? Where did you learn that action has to be hard? Maybe from your parents, maybe from society. Where did you learn that? Is that really true? Is it true? Is action really hard? Is action hard to take? Is it hard for me to record a daily video for six months? On the outside, it's like, whoa, Francis is taking a lot of action. You know, good for him. He's hustling hard. Am I? Am I really hustling hard? Right now, energetically, do you feel like I'm hustling hard while I'm talking to you? Do you think this is hard for me to do? Now, of course, don't get me wrong. There's a perspective here. From one perspective, sometimes, yes, it's hard. There are struggles. Don't get me wrong. It's not completely effortless. But for the most part, your dominant vibration can be a high vibration, which then makes manifestation so much easier so much easier than the ego makes it out to be. The more that I stop making life a struggle, the more that I let go of my ego, which is the logical mind and being attached to the logical mind, I still have the mind. I still take action. I still have systems. I still have structures in place. You know, I have systems that I follow to make my business successful and my videos. But do they have to be hard is the question. And if you think action's hard, where did you learn that? Where did you learn that? Like, seriously, think about this. Where did you learn that action has to be hard? Was it from your parents? Was it from society? Where did you learn that? Do you have to go to school and hustle to make the life that you really want? Is that true? And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. Anything wrong with school. Wasn't for me though. Wasn't for me. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with this. I'm saying, is that the path you need to take? And is it true? Does action have to be hard? Think about that. I'm not even telling you that action has to be easy. I am. That is what I'm saying. I'm also just asking you a question. Does it have to be hard? Does it really have to be hard to take action or can action be easy? Can it be easy to record daily videos? Let me ask you this. Can you be open to the fact 
that it actually has been easy for me to record daily videos for the last six months. And that if it became hard, that was my internal resistance blocking me. Is it possible that in the stillness of the present moment, when you're completely aligned with the flow state and who you really are, can it be easy to take action? Does action have to be hard is a serious question I want you to consider. And when you learn what I'm sharing with you, that is the ultimate key to effortless manifestation. Believe me when I say this. You'll be manifesting effortlessly. You'll be in alignment with automatic success. Okay, automatic success where your subconscious mind creates success for you, creates money for you creates a joyful experience for you on a consistent basis and then attracts, automatically magnetizes experiences to you. And here's the last thing I wanna share with you when it comes to actually aligning with effortless manifestation using the law of attraction is that what you wanna do is have faith in uncertainty. That's huge. That's been huge for my manifestation journey. Manifesting more money, you know, the things that I really want in my life has been having faith and being okay and comfortable with the uncomfortable and the uncertainty of life. Because here's the truth. Life is inherently uncertain, okay? Nothing is certain. Nothing is certain in life. Everything's uncertain. Even if you take the safe route, you take the safe certain route, the secure route, that's uncertain too. Anything can happen. You're seeing it happen in the world right now. People thought that certain things were certain. It's all collapsing in front of their eyes. There's nothing certain about life. And when you're okay with uncertainty, and in fact, you align with uncertainty, it can become so much easier easier to manifest because <clears throat> what most people don't realize is that when you become comfortable with uncertainty that's what helps you manifest effortlessly because when you're attached to certainty that's part of the struggle that the ego creates you see what i'm saying when you align with uncertainty manifestation becomes much easier. I'll give you an example of how this actually played out in my life. So a couple months back, I think at this point, it's been over six months. What I did was I dropped out of school because I felt that it wasn't in alignment with my energy anymore. And it's almost like I was taking a leap of faith into the unknown, into the uncertainty. And the universe was like kind of synchronistically guiding me to be like, hey, Francis, it's okay be comfortable with the unknown. I remember having in my, like I had a thought process and I was like, I was like, hmm, what if I just sit here, stay here right now? I was actually on the bus. And I was like, what if I just completely surrender to uncertainty? And I just connected the present moment and I try to, and I let go of understanding this present moment logically. Now this is gonna connect to manifestation, don't worry. But in that present moment, I was also learning about Eckhart Tolle and the power of now and all these different things. I said to myself, what if I just surrender to the moment right now and I let go of understanding everything that I'm seeing logically you know not for the next week not for the next month for the next three weeks I said to myself what if I just you know see what I see and I see it for what it is I told myself what if I just let go of understanding things logically in this present moment right now what happened was when I did that there was a certain peace that came with that and then I realized that part of this process is being okay with uncertainty and understanding things logically. And the more that I aligned my life with that uncertainty, and I had faith in that uncertainty, what happened was I started to manifest in a much faster way. So one of the biggest keys to actually manifesting is to have faith in the uncertainty and accept that we don't have to understand everything logically with the ego why certain things happen. Like just a second ago, my camera died. I had to just re-edit this part of the video. Why did that happen? I don't know, but I don't have to understand logically why these things happen. For all I know, maybe that part of the video where the camera died, that video wasn't meant to be shown to the public. And now I'm meant to say this to say something even better. You see, these things happen for a reason. And it's always important to understand that Everything happens for a reason. The ego doesn't understand why these things happened, but that shouldn't stop you from manifesting. The key 
is to have faith in that uncertainty. And the more that you do that, the easier it's going to be to actually manifest what you want. The easier it's going to be to be in alignment with your manifestation and what it is that you really want to create. And the easier it's going to be to create the life that you really want. So be more open. Be more open with uncertainty. I'm not telling you to be bold like I was and drop out of school and do all these crazy things. All I'm saying is that the more that I personally aligned with uncertainty and I realized that part of this path is to go deeper and deeper and deeper into uncertainty. So have systems. Okay, once again, I take massive action. I have a system that I've created for my channel and my business to actually allow these systems to and I can use these systems to carry me forward with everything. But at the same time, it's okay to be uncertain. It's okay to be okay with the uncertainty of life. And the more that you are, you'll notice that it's much, much easier to manifest what you want and things start to happen in a much easier way. Just trust the plan of how things are working out. Don't be attached to how it works out because your ego doesn't always understand. But a lot of the times when you trust in that, when you trust that we don't have to understand everything logically, it becomes so much easier. All these little things that happen where your ego goes, why did that happen? You know, why did this happen? Why did that situation happen? We don't know. And our egos don't need to know. I didn't know why. I had to drop out of school. I didn't even know I was going to be a YouTuber that I was going to do all this stuff. I just had this intuition. It's just like drop out of school. I didn't know where that was going to go. It made no logical sense. I was completely uncertain. All I knew is that I did not want to be in that program doing what it is that I was doing, which was software development. I knew I didn't want to do that. I was completely stepping into uncertainty. I had almost no, I had like kind of like a plan, like a little bit of a plan of what I was going to do. But not really. I didn't know I was going to find a mentor and then do this. Like, I didn't know that. I didn't know that I was going to be able to make all the money that I'm making now. I didn't know that I was going to lead closer to success in my dream life. I didn't know that. I was just following all the high vibrational feelings that led me to that moment. The high vibration, intuitive action, stepping into uncertainty, which then led me to being right here. And now I'm sharing the story with you. And did I know I was going to do all of that? No. Do I know why the universe is bringing certain things to me right now? Not really. It's kind of uncertain. I don't know how everything's happening. Like I have a system, I have a structure, but at the same time, to be totally honest with you, I'm completely in uncertainty in my life right now. And I'm totally okay with that. And the more that I am, the more that I manifest, which kind of brings me level of certainty at the same time. I feel more secure. I feel more comfortable. But believe me, when that happens, there's another level. You see, the universe is continually pushing us kind of and nudging us in the direction of uncertainty. Once you become too comfortable, the universe goes, hey, it's time to go to the next level. That's what the universe is going to say. Hey, it's time. It's like the universe doesn't want you to be too comfortable. It's like, oh, he's too comfortable. Francis is comfortable. That's unacceptable. Let's throw some adversity his way. Like, let's let's throw a challenge his way. Let's show him that he can't be comfortable. He has to be in uncertainty. And that's life. There's nothing wrong with that. That's how you grow. That's the beauty of life. It's living in uncertainty, at least for me. That's the way I live my life. Okay, I'm not telling you how to live your life and to be bold because this advice can lead you down a path that is kind of scary. And maybe some people aren't prepared for that. So I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just inviting you to be more bold, to be more uncertain, and I'm just sharing with you my experience that when I align with uncertainty, I manifest much faster. And that is how you align with effortless manifestation using the law of attraction. So once again, if you want to work with me one on one to let go of your ego, reprogram your subconscious mind for success to create the life that you really want so you can align with your purpose. Hit the link that's in the description box of this video to apply for a free consultation to see if you're a good fit for the coaching program. Also, if you like this video, hit that like button, leave a comment down below. Have yourself a great day as always, and I'll see you in the next video.